Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can make After Effects like smooth text animation in an Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here is a blank project and I want to make a smooth text animation first. I need to write down the text. Just select the type tool and then write whatever you want. So I'm just writing smooth text i'll just go to properties panel and from here i'll select the text and you can select any font that you like to use i'll select i'll select a bold font like hebo black and i'll center align this text again i'll center align here then i can just increase the font size a little bit right so this is my basic text animation if you want to add any background you can do that you can make a shape rectangle shape or you can just like if i want to make a color mat i can just right click and then new item and from here color mat i'll just select a white or off white color we'll place that color mat here right so i need to change the text color to a darker shade so that's my basic text now i want to animate this text so suppose i want to just reveal the background and then i want to reveal the text so first i need to animate my background i can disable the text layer so here if i want to animate the background i can go to my effects panel if you don't see effects panel go to windows and then enable effects and there you need to use the effect called transform this is the most important effect that you should use in Adobe Premiere and it will immediately transform your work into a professional look if you use this effect. So let's add transform. Click and drag this transform effect here on top of your color mat and go to effects control panel and from here you can animate the transform. So I'll just add a keyframe at the beginning for position and then maybe I'll go here and add another keyframe. In the first position i'll just i'll just change the position value like that and the most important thing is if i just play it back you'll see there isn't any motion blur to add motion blur that will give the professional look you need to just uncheck the use composites shutter angle and there you need to increase the shutter angle normally 180 is a good value but if you think you need more motion blur you can just increase the shutter angle a bit so I'll just keep it 300 or 310. Now if I played back, yeah, it's good, but it's not perfect. It doesn't have that kick. To add the kick, just double click here on the effects control panel and then select the last keyframe and right click. Temporal interpolation is in and select the first one. Right click. Temporal interpolation is out. Now click on the position and then you can just click and drag this handle like that so if i get back and play it back again yeah it's much smoother right now i want to reveal the text similarly just enable the text layer and there you need to add the transform effect again so to add the transform effect what you need to do you need to again click and drag this transform effect on top of your text layer and then go to properties panel here you'll see transform effect so to change the properties you need to go to effects control panel if you don't see go to windows then effects controls and there you'll see transform effect so i want to just start the text animation from this portion right so i'll just keep it here maybe from here yeah from here so again go to transform and also we need to add another keyframe for opacity so i'll go to opacity and add another keyframe now for a few frames maybe here and then add another keyframe get back to the first keyframe and there you need to change the position and you need to lower the opacity so if i now play it back it's looking good but not perfect so we need to again is in and is out the keyframes 
So select the text layer, double click, effects control panel, and select the last two keyframe, right click, and from here select temporal interpolation is in and you have to select the first two keyframe right click and then temporal interpolation is out now if you play it back it will look good but we can make it much better again double click effects control panel to make it a lot bigger and from here if you click on this arrow you can reveal the curve so i'll just place the playhead here just for the reference so i'm just selecting this one and then i'll click and drag this handle till this playhead and if you don't modify the keyframe properly then it will look bad the keyframe will act very weird so that reason we need to make sure the keyframe is aligned with each other and for that thing we are just using the playhead as a reference again select this one and click and drag this one till this playhead just like that right now if i get back and play it back it's looking much better right again you can just do the things i'll just speed up this section at keyframe then you can just lower the text decrease the opacity select these two keyframe right click temporal interpolation is in so again the text is just going back select this one then you can click and drag this again click and drag this so if i play it back much better and here i will add the keyframe for our background again select the last keyframe right click temporal interpolation is in and now you can just click and drag it like that you can just trim it down here now if i play it back here is our animation so you can use this animation for your video suppose if i show you one of the project that i have used this thing so here if i play it back avoid that Finally, let's talk solutions. Number one. So you can use this text effect just like that. And you don't need to go to After Effects again and again just to animate the text. You can just copy and paste or you can click and drag this thing and then place it here. Now you can modify and write down another text. Suppose here on screens, if I play it back, it's there. So you don't need to animate the text again and again. Here is the animation again this one is unchanged so you can just copy and paste the block and use it again and again so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video and learned something new from this one if you did so then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel and want to learn video editing premiere pro the benzy result for if you want to learn about filmmaking or different camera gear accessories you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye